Hey, hi, what's going on guys? Welcome to part third on CRUD management system. Guys, in this particular video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a couple of more methods inside our class called manage database. So out here, I'm going to create a function called get data and it's going to take a parameter called ID, which would be null. Like it's not mandatory to pass this particular variable every time we're going to call this function. It's not mandatory. It's like optional. So here I'm going to say if is it ID like uh, if we are getting the parameter, then do something else. We're gonna do something else, guys. Out here, we're gonna run the PDO uh, queries in order to you know get anything from the database or if you wanna insert anything. So it won't be like you know normal MySQL query, something like this. So it won't be like uh, this. We're gonna use PDO in order to uh, communicate with the database. So here I'm gonna create a random variable called dollar query. And here I'm going to say dollar this link query uh, like this. <clears throat> now, guys, you would be thinking what this entire dollar this link query is. So let's break it out. Uh, this is a separate thing, and this is a separate thing. So, guys, dollar this link actually means to this particular variable. And, guys, if you will notice every time, uh, okay, let me tell you one thing very first guys every time you run any code it will get executed line by line so it will you know start executing from top then it will go to the bottom so once our code will start getting executed it's gonna find a variable called dollar link which is actually equals to null it does not contain anything inside it then it's gonna go ahead once it's gonna be on line number nine it's gonna make this particular variable equals to the connection of the database so this time we are using that particular connection to run a query okay it's like uh, something in build that you need to do every time if you want to grab anything from the database so here i'm going to say query and i'm going to say select all from the table name and one more parameter actually we need to pass in that would be dollar table name now you would be saying why i'm you know passing a variable called dollar table name why cannot say something like users so guys if you will remember my demo application we are not sure which particular table the user is working with everything is dynamic so that's the reason we're gonna pass in the variable out here so I'm gonna say dollar table name okay select all from dollar table name uh, where ID is equals to dollar ID that means we are passing this particular variable called ID out here and here I'm gonna say auto by ID ascending like get the top one uh, first and then you know get the bottom one later uh, here I'm gonna say dollar query and guys everything gonna be same so I'm gonna copy it apart from that we only need to remove this where class from this query okay uh, then we're gonna create one more variable that would be dollar row count you can name it to anything you want and here I'm gonna say dollar query and count the number of rows that we are able to fetch from this query okay here I'm gonna say if row count is greater than or equals to one that means we are able to get something from our database it's not null then create one more variable called dollar result and make it equals to dollar query fetch all so guys fetch all is actually a way to fetch everything from the database okay else I'm gonna say dollar result will be equals to dollar query uh, or probably I can say zero okay that means we are not able to get anything and here I can say return dollar result because every function do return something and we want to let this function know return the variable called dollar result so that we can actually work with it later so guys we, now we are able to create a function called get data let's go ahead and execute this function and let me show you what exactly we are trying to do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the lips folder that this particular folder is responsible for to actually you know uh, call the function to create the instance of uh, classes like everything related to PHP because I don't want my actual files to be dirty I just want you know uh, these files to contain HTML and little amount of PHP so that's the reason we're gonna keep everything neat and clean and inside libs I'm gonna create a new file here I'm gonna say get 
data.php okay and here I'm gonna say <coughs> uh, PHP here like uh, we're gonna write our PHP code here I'm gonna say include once uh, core that would be our uh, actual uh, directory name then I'm gonna say class dot manage database dot PHP okay we're gonna include this particular file here I'm gonna say dollar and it will be a new instance of this class so here I'm gonna say manage database so guys and before like without creating any instance you cannot work with a class you need to create an instance then only you can access all these methods so the method we we want to actually grab would be get data okay so here uh, I'm gonna say dollar data will be equal to so that would be dollar in it and the method name that we want to call so we don't want any ID because we don't have any ID till now and we're gonna pass in the variable called dollar table name so you know let's hard code in the table name called users here okay and finally you know print R because it's gonna you know contain an array of data so that's the reason we need to use print R in order to actually find out what are the values inside that particular array and guys next thing is inside our class called database now we have to yeah I believe that's fine for now we will change it later but for now it's fine so here I'm gonna say go to libs go to get data and we have some really awesome errors so the very first one would be one folder down then to core it says missing argument two for get data okay I don't know why because guys every time if you wanna you know pass in an optional uh, parameter that needs to be on number second so it would be like this and guys here you will notice we have an array of data so let's make it more neat and clean I'm gonna say echo pre here so that will make sure that we are able to read everything from this data and guys you will notice out here we have all the values inside like actually from that particular database so here it says array and here we have here we have and guys if you will notice one more thing we have duplicate values out here it says ID to one out here it says zero one and here it says name to one then it says one to actual name so we have duplicate data the reason is that because we are getting some simple arrays from our database so we're gonna chain that either so here I'm gonna say dollar query set fetch mode like we wanna you know uh, <coughs> change uh, this particular fetch mode to something else so I'm gonna say PDO and here I'm gonna say fetch associative array so come back refresh you will notice those extra values like zero one keys have been removed and we have the actual data that we required in order to that we actually require in order to work with so guys, <coughs> now since everything is uh, uh, gonna be dynamic, we are not sure, or probably let me give you a demo that will make more sense. Otherwise, you will guys, you guys will get confused. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna run the actual demo I created. So I'm gonna say crud one, and guys, here you will notice like we have these table headings out here on the top which is title description post meta and if I'm gonna you know switch to a different table you will notice they are also changing automatically so we will have to get them dynamic uh, from the database so for that what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep these values inside a different variable so what we're gonna do for that is uh, go to the file called get data we're gonna remove all this print and stuff here I'm gonna run a for each statement I'm gonna say dollar data zero like uh, the zero the key number zero as dollar key and dollar value okay uh, here I'm gonna say dollar field yeah field or probably like this fields name that would be an array equals to dollar key okay like this and guys I just want to make one more check that I'm gonna say if dollar data is not equal to zero that means we do got something from that query that we run uh, while getting the data then only do all this and guys let me do a print r dollar fields name 
like this come back refresh you will notice now we have an ID name email password bio user level so we so we are actually ready to go and show these table headings to our users so for that what we're gonna do is go to the file call index uh, probably come to quote go to index.php here and where it says you know some table headings I'm gonna remove them and very first on the top I'm gonna say uh, include once libs slash uh, that would be git data dot php okay and probably here I'm gonna say php if dollar uh, probably data is not equals to zero then go ahead and do something else don't do anything then I'm gonna say dot for each uh, like this for each the one we are running out here or probably no just leave it the way it is uh, okay let me reopen the file so yeah that's fine I believe so we're gonna actually remove this printer I'm really sorry for that confusion I'm gonna uh, grab this particular variable here I'm gonna say dollar fields name as dollar f or you can name it to anything you want okay here I'm gonna say echo th and dollar f so come back and refresh let's see whether we have something or not and one thing I know we're gonna get into some errors so that's fine so go come to crud index and here it says there is some errors that's fine guys I know why it is because now we need to reference some normally earlier we were not doing it like this so come back so here it says ID name email password by a user label that's awesome so let me go ahead and change this to tickets okay come back refresh you will notice there is uh, like we cannot see anything because we don't have any data inside our table called tickets so let's switch back to users and here it says ID name email password by user level once again now guys we need to get the values of all the fields corresponding to ID name and we and we actually want to fill them here so uh, here I'm gonna say very first uh, call th like echo th and here I'm gonna say actions like uh, if you want to delete or edit them and I'm gonna remove all this from here and here I'm gonna start again the PHP tag here I'm gonna say if dollar data is not equal to zero like every time I'm making the check that we are like we do are getting some values from the database now this time we need to break the different variable that would be this data variable so <coughs> I'm gonna say dollar data as dollar key dollar value okay so let's come here so this would be like some curly braces now I'm gonna say for each dollar fields name okay as dollar or let's say F once again and out here I'm gonna say echo TD dollar data and the key would be dollar F so let's come back and see whether we have some errors or we don't oh we have a lot of errors out here so probably this needs to be value very first so let's see if we can solve it yep we are able to solve it and one more thing we need to do is we need to put this particular uh, TR probably I believe here okay and the ending of this TR would be uh, like here echo TR come back refresh and we have everything and one more thing we need to do is that would be like this uh, no that's something bad <laughs> uh, it needs to be probably here okay now we are able to you know pull up everything so out here it shows uh, the actual field names out here on the top it says password bio user label and action and out here it shows the corresponding data uh, from the same table 
called users now every time we can switch table by using you know this uh, select box but we don't have any functionality for that we, we're gonna add that later i will see you guys good next time goodbye